Yeah. All right, we're in Act Two. I mean, it's Part Two. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? Yes, CFR. of course. <laughs> no, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation. Everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? It seems weird that she just just assume I would know. Let's do this. Looking for all collectibles. That, that that that's cool advice, but it sounds incredibly damaging. Sophia Emerald. Resident Cronon scientist. Well, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Was how do you store Cronon? Oh crap! They saw me. Running, 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 running. Right. Ah, damn it, it's a shotgun now. Run, 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 run. Oh, I'm gonna die. Get down, damn it. Oh, why is he. No! That was a little frustrating. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Sophia Amarong. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Enemy spotted! Ah, damn it. A lot of the same stuff Will did. Right, I've got a shotgun. But the other one who's a Damn, that's got a lot of kick. I'm surprised the guy like isn't having his arm shattered. Cause that must be a lot of blowback to have that much strength to push a guy back. Ah damn it, this is the one guy I'm gonna struggle. Oh no, that was Break through that shield. Oh crap. Oh. Jeez, I'm lucky the guy decided to hit me instead of shoot me. What's up? Oh, it's a gun. Alright. Free to kill. It's my shock. Oh, good. Down the stairs. You know, let's see what this does when you hit it. Oh, and he went flying, cool. I thought it was just gonna freeze him. 
Wait, who's shooting me? Well, there's only one left. Get it, why is the Oops. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. How many grenades have they caught? Oh, good. Ah. I cannot climb that. Move. Damn, how do I get up there? Oh, I can't cross through there. How peculiar. I suppose I just switch to a different gun. You know what's funny? I don't think I even hit near him. I think I was just hitting that wall. Gotta find a way out of here. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. Yep, yeah, where? I can't find a stairwell I can use. There's gotta be only something I can use to get up there. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Elevator. Ah, damn it. Ooh, a gala. Okay, shooting that does absolutely not. Apparently video games have lied to me, you can't just shoot your way out of everything. Huh. Wait. Ah, oh, no this isn't. Ooh, what's this? Does seem good. Upgrade points available one. Co oh, damn, that's expensive. I get the feeling a twist is going to be that using these time pals just made things worse, and that's why that person said that things are going faster than his projections. Ooh, what's... Oh, it's on the other side of that wall. Don't 
to freedom. Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Hmm. Very curious. Ooh, a car. Wait, what's? I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Hands off. Huh. I think there's no power to the lock. Alright, how do I figure this out? Hmm, I guess I need to make a choice here. I can either drive the car to freedom or get his backpack. Okay. Oh, uh, no, I just have to use the car to. Oh, I thought it would be an exciting choice. Oh well. Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but. His phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel one is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. I don't even know you. I can do something stupid if I want. Time knife, wow. Really? Bruce Savage. And you describe him like that. Amy, you okay out there? Shit. This this sounds more like just a, like just a really bad porno. <laughs> Oh, and what a surprise. The guy's name is Bruce as well. Oh, Jesus, bad. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> oh, I was kind of hoping to see the woman's response. I just want her to like say some really hurtful things about it. It deserves hurtful things said about it. It's very bad. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know it's gonna work like a uh, radar, 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 not radar. Ready? Well, if they didn't know where I was, they do now. Jesus. Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. What a shock, they know where I am. recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around Ground Zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? Open fire! <laughs> It's Joyce. He's trouble. Over. Gotta move. I'm your ID on Joyce. Joyce. Hello. Oh crap, another one. No, run. Sometimes the controls are a little frustrating. Last thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, right, I gotta hold LT when I do it. Keep going, keep going, keep going.
Alright, what's still left? Right, I think I've killed the two big guys. Well, what's happening? I think I've missed anything. No, I think I got everything. Just come in. Oh, crap. Pronouns. Paul developed technology for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. Yet he never tried to stop it. Oh, crap. Ah, damn it, I'm not. What they got? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, just shoot! Yeah, you're done. Ah, oh, damn it, more of them? Alright, nothing in here. Crap, crap, crap. I got a pretty RD kill. Did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. I love foreshadowing. Oh wait, no, I hate it. I find foreshadowing frustrating because it's like so tempting. When I say foreshadowing though, I mean like the really obvious kind, like... Well, like that right there, it's like saying, nothing could prepare us for that. Like, oh jeez, why you gotta get my hopes up? You know, it's not like something subtle. Like, uh, I can't think of a good example. I'm struggling, but there are some. Oh, I've got forward. one. Like in, li like in a uh, Life is Strange. They kind of foreshadowed that the teacher was the bad guy by like all the stuff he said, like in the class. Like, if you actually then listen to what he said, you guys, holy shit! Absolutely no entrance. 
entry. But I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. But yeah, so if you kind of pay attention to the class, you'd realize, holy shit, the guy's an asshole. Well, it wasn't an asshole, but... I can't think of a good one. Ooh. What the hell? Hey, who are you? What is this? Oh, right, that was just him. What is this? That already happened. Ooh, cool. It's like a self fulfilling prophecy. What the fuck? You see yourself do it, so you have to do it. Actually, that's more self fulfilling prophecy. That's more just like a time paradox, like a destiny trap. I don't think that's an actual thing, but I heard it in one sci-fi thing, and it, it's a cool... Ooh. I feel like we need Darude Sandstorm playing here in this. No words to describe it. Will was gone. He was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. Really? He tried to protect Puzzled. you from this? Trapped and broken. He didn't decide just to not keep you involved? Because, you know, you did describe your over as a bit of an asshole sometimes. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. It works. It works. So he was just an asshole. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, don't do this. It's weird that he's got such good technology and then such crappy technology. You know what I mean? Look, you've got like a very fancy looking computers here, and then you had something over there that looks like it's made out part of scrap now. I don't know if there's any narrative objects I can collect here. I feel like there should be, but also there shouldn't. Damn it. Come with me. Can survive this thing. The only other one who's seen what I've seen. Give me the device. Ah. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. Nope, time's still going. Jeez, this thing needs an, epile uh, an epilepsy warning. No, seizure. What is that, epilepsy? What's that? What did I just pick up? Damn it, I can't get a good look with all the flashing lights. Anything. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. I 
feel like the fact that it's okay. 17 is very important. The dry dock. Almost there. Like, I know Serene said he lived 17 call. years ago, and I mean, like, the 17 years of that and all that, but 17 just seems like such an odd number. You know, it's very clunky. Damn, that guy's an asshole. Like a really big asshole. Alright, nothing here. I'm going to run back upstairs quickly. Ah, come on. Okay, I don't think I can reach it from here. Ooh. You know, instead of running in, like, from blunt to blunt, why don't grab a lab coat and try and, you know, pass as someone who works here? There was something wrong with Paul. Cornon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Hmm. Paul Serene was a bit worried about Martin Hatch as well. Emily. Eh, and I'm like. References. Huh. Alright, it seems Fiona Miller, the woman who was hanging out with Charlie Wincott, might be working with us. So that's good.
There we go. Yeah. Uh oh. Jack, oh. You have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him. I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Hmm. Interesting. So it appears all these strikers know exactly what's happening and they're getting a free ride out. Not sure about the regular Monarch Guards though. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how big this lifeboat's going to be. I mean, my initial thought is like, oh, it's just like for, you know, a few really wealthy people and such, but at the same time, what would be the point? I mean, Paul Serene strikes me as a person who's like, you know, trying to save humanity. Like in some twisted way, obviously, but... Actually, maybe not even twisted, but you know, he's doing it in like his own way that's obviously morally questionable because it's going to leave a lot of people behind, but... He doesn't seem like the kind who's just like going to buy himself more time. Right. You know, he was the person who wanted to change the world. I think I'm doing a good job collecting all these collectibles.
I can tell he was intelligent, but I can tell he was asshole intelligent, not humble intelligent. Yeah, I mean, he'd be like one of those people in school who's smart and they look down their nose at everyone. Even like the other people who are relatively smart. It's like, no, I'm the smartest. Oop. Oh, there we go. Hi, Paul. What's he doing? Was he holding that? Was he just freezing that in time? He may have froze that. attention. <laughs> Let that be a lesson, kids. When you're running for your life, pay attention. Yeah, I'm starting to think that Paul Serene doesn't think he can change anything. Like when, you know, in the intersection bit where you have to make your decisions. Anyway, so when you're making those decisions, he only saw two outcomes, and he like said like how what he did it was uh, did. He's shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it get much worse. But we both know it did. Okay, so we're talking to the head of their research division. No, not research. Sorry, um, salt mercenary salt. The guards. The guards were big killing. But anyway. Because when he saw those two futures, like of either killing or something, and he saw bad stuff happening either way. Like he didn't. He didn't, you know, see any way he could, like, rig it. So, like, for instance, he could do one thing and. Hold on, stop listening. He didn't see any way of being able to do, like, one of those choices and then rigging it so it didn't backfire. Oh crap. Now where the fuck am I? Couldn't a little close, Jack. It's like a goddamn maze in here. What happened? Oh. Whee! Ooh. What? He's actually sent people after me in here.
Tô ligado. Time, 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 time. Go, go, go. All right, he's down. Who's left? One more. Or two more. Geez, how many of them are there? Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Jeez, there's something hauntingly beautiful about all this. It's like an art piece. Man, I sound like a real psychopath. Alright, where do I go from here? Huh, I wonder what's up here. It's telling me to go one way, so it always helps to explore another way. I mean, there's not always something here. In fact, in this game, I think there's a lot of places where there's just nothing, but... Yup. It always helps to go off the beaten path. And... Uh, okay, finally. Well, I'm still getting that blue screen issue for some reason. I mean, fortunately, it's actually been not as bad today. It's the only frustrating thing about this capture card. Other than that, it's really good, but to be fair, that could also be down to the computer. Or anything really. It wasn't my fault. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the bed. Oh! That's for not listening to me back there. Bitch. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. Maybe I just want revenge. By the way, for the plus one in the back seat, it's starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. <laughs> my ride, my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? Good choice of music. 